Stop wasting money. You're probably overspending on these 10 things. Have you ever wondered how much money you're wasting on buying things or are you overspending too much on the things that you usually buy? Sadly, most of us tend to overspend without us noticing it and this could lead to financial problems in the long run. If you're among those people who feel skeptical about their spending habits, then continue watching. Hey awesome people, this is Finance Boss and I'm here to share with you the 10 things that you're probably overspending. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and share this video. Number 1. Groceries The average amount of money a family of four spends on groceries is estimated at nearly $1,000 a month, which makes it one of the higher monthly expenses we typically incur and a lot of this money is wasted. One reason that there is so much food waste is that humans are terrible planners. They either aimlessly walk to the grocery store or overestimate their needs or sporadically and miss out on taking advantage of sales. One strategy that was shared with me by a close friend was to only pay for groceries with cash. You see, all too often, people find themselves at the grocery store hungry and eager to fill up their shopping carts which are facilitated by the seemingly endless ability to spend on credit. When you have a set amount of money in your wallet, you can't go wild and buy everything you think you want and instead stick to the basics which will keep your grocery cost low. Number 2. Credit Card Interest Easily the most disheartening thing to waste money on is credit card interest. This avoidable expense is incurred by millions of Americans every single month and each payment they make roads their ability to prosper financially. But just how much costly can this fine situation really be? Let's say you have $4,293 in credit card debt which is the national average amongst those who carry a balance. If your card charges an annual APR and you pay the minimum each month 3%, which is roughly $129, to start your stay in debt for about 15 years and put more than $3,800 towards interest, this $3,800 which could be completely avoided by either paying off your credit card statements in full at month's end or avoiding the use of credit cards altogether. Number 3. Paid Apps We've all done it. We've opted into an app or subscription service that comes with a free trial. Only we forget to set a calendar reminder when the free trial ends and before we know it, 29.99 US dollars is funneled out of your bank account. Sometimes, these expenses are a bit sneakier. 99 cents for a gaming up here, $1.99 for a photo editing out there, it adds up. That's why it's important to take a minute to comb through your paid apps and cancel any of these forgotten subscriptions. You might be shocked to see what you've been subscribed to but you can cancel these apps immediately. Number 4. Bank Fees It's way too easy to get tangled into the expensive web of bank fees. There are the obvious ones like overdrafting, then the ones that will sneak up on you like monthly maintenance fees and minimum balance fees. While these fees tend to be inexpensive as a single instance, they can add up over time, costing you hundreds of dollars a year. The first is to look into online banks. This relatively new form of financial institution resides entirely online, meaning less overhead and as a result, fewer fees being charged to its clients. In order to avoid bank fees, I opened up a basic checkings account and negotiated a fee structure that kept my cost to a minimum so that my money stayed in my pockets and not the banks. Number 5. Phone Bill For many of us, our phone bills have become more expensive than our electricity bills, especially if you have a family plan. The lines, the overages, the fees, they stack up and before you know it, you're paying $200 a month. Yikes! Now is a good time to break out last month's phone bill. Take a look at everything you're paying for and make sure there aren't any extraneous unnecessary charges on there if you have to brush up on your negotiation skills and call up your phone company. Number 6. Coffee Every morning you take that first sip of coffee and you're ready to start your day. For many, this act can be quite costly and certainly an expense to reconsider. According to CoffeeDetective.com, you can make your own coffee for 27 cents a cup so if we multiply that by 7 cups a week and 52 weeks a year, 
we wind up with a grand total of $98.28, a saving of over $1,000. The best part is that you don't have to lose the benefits that come with buying coffee at your favorite coffee shops like Portability and their unique coffee blends. Simply buy yourself a reusable container and a bag of ground coffee from the shop and enjoy the same coffee for a fraction of the price. Number 7. Eating Out Well, a home-cooked meal is nice. It's also great to sometimes enjoy an outside meal. However, for many people, this sometimes is all the time. When you start to buy meals, the cost can add up quickly. Most home-cooked lunches can be made for roughly $5 or less, which means that you could satisfy the same need for a third of the cost. Well, I used to think that eating out this often was a rare occurrence, but the reality is that generally, we eat out more than we think. The average cost of a person eating out can reach $32 a month or $12.75 per eating. The other issue besides a financial cost is that when you buy your lunch or any meal for that matter, you may not always have access to the healthiest food choices, so not only are you eroding your financial health, but your physical health as well. Number 8. Bottled Water While staying hydrated is the key to good health, getting all your water from a bottle can be costly. In fact, you could save a ton of money by replacing those big cases of bottled water with their reusable water bottle. But how much money could you be saving? Well, let's do some quick math. Let's say a 24-pack of water costs about $5. Depending on how much your household uses a month, you might purchase 3 cases. That's $15 the same price you'd pay for a nice reusable bottle that you can use over and over and over again. In essence, you're getting the same high-quality product for a much lesser cost. Number 9. New Cars Cars may be the biggest waste of money on Earth, and this is especially true when it comes to new cars. The average car loan takes 69.3 months to repay. Car buyers on average borrow $31,000 for new vehicle purchases and are left with an average monthly payment of more than $500. For most car buyers, there's no reason to ever buy a brand new car, especially as the new car loses around 11% of its value the second you drive it off the lot. But the same car that is now 3 years old will depreciate roughly 25% during the next 3 years of ownership, meaning that if you buy a slightly used car, you're going to avoid a large portion of the car's overall depreciation. Moreover, if you opt for a reliable used car and take the shortest loan term you can afford, you'll repay your loan much quicker. Number 10. Streaming Services Remember not too long ago when everyone said streaming services were cheaper than cable? Well, with so many options thrown in our faces now, that's not quite the case. It's like those paid apps you get sucked in with a free trial. Before you know it, you've got four streaming services and you're paying more than you ever did for cable. You see, the issue of streaming services like Netflix and Hulu is that they are narrow casting services. Well, they have numerous TV shows and movies. They don't have everything which is why it's so common for people to be running numerous streaming services at once. Not to mention, in many cases, cable can be obtained for a lower cost than you might expect. Given that you were already paying for internet, adding in a cable package will allow you to bundle this cost which may come at a lower rate than what you're paying for streaming services each and every month. So, did you realize something after watching this video? If yes, then I think it's time to make some changes in your spending habits to avoid wasting your money. I know you can do it! You just need a little push and you'll live the life that you dreamed of. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment down below your thoughts. This is Finance Boss, signing off.